In this tutorial I want to look at how we use the frame design tools and I want to create an external structure um, based on this um, sort of part that I've got inserted in here which is just being used as my um, reference uh, geometry and then I've got some internal pieces as well that are going to get added into the overall structure so these are just extra parts so if we just turn those off for the moment now under the tools tab there is a um, option here for frame design if we go into there and uh, we're just interested because we've already got our path set up by using the edges of these parts that are in here we can go straight into the frame tool and accept the options here so if we choose our cross section and then we can go in and pick the edges that we want to use and I can right mouse click to accept it now if we zoom in you'll see that we actually come off the center of that section which is not what we're after so we need to um, first accept the edges of the parts we want to rotate it 90 degrees and we can click on the handle point to redefine uh, where we're going to position it. So it's all flush with the end of the um, part here. So again we can do the same thing. Uh, right mouse click to finish, accept the options and we'll come in here and just Okay, so we haven't got a part here, so we'll cancel out of there. So we can just use the line segment command, and you get a little help box here. But um, as long as we've got our key point selected, we can just pick up on a key point here. And if we just rotate. So that gives us our fourth edge for our... Um, frame section so we go back into here and we can now go through and click those four edges to define our frame and like we did last time we need to just go in and reposition those so we'll rotate it 90 degrees again so that's just the cross section and then clicking on the key points we just want to drop that back to coincide with that edge there Finally, we will do the same for the um, end section. just click on that top corner just to pull it back on the inside again so now we've got our um, external um, structure so finishing there we can um, turn this dialog box off so this just defines um, how you want your end treatments to behave so now we can come in and choose these edges here and you can see that that's coming in nice and flush there um, and sort of likewise here um, so if we just hide this part at the moment you can see that we're actually coming in but um, you'll also notice that um, what's happened is that it has just sort of trimmed up so what we can do um, so that's basically trimming back to one of these other sections um, so if we go into our um, end condition accept this end and what we want to do is extend back to this plane here and then that just ties it tidies up that little end section there for us
Now we get to the complex part, which is creating the rails down and across this multiple angle. Let's bring back the um, original part that we we're going to use for our edges, and we'll use the same cross section. And to, for this one, because it's um, complex and the two angles will not really um, sit square to each other, uh, we'll do them separately. And we want to change the orientation, and then we can just reposition the corner to drop that in nicely. And we will right mouse click to finish that. Now we need to get onto the more complex one here. And as you can see in here, it, what it's doing is it's trimming back to the edge of that other one. So um, we need to make some adjustments. Let's start by getting the angle switched around. And before we can go any further, let's... Um, redefine the end condition here and we want to use the um, extend or trim so what we're aiming for is, is get into this outside edge here so if we hover over right mouse click uh, we can check that plane and then that drops that back in and Let's go back and recenter to this edge. Yeah. So you can see that it's not really lining up now that we've got our angle in here. So if we um, drop out of there and go to um, measure angle. We can actually look at the angle between these two edges. And that tells me it's 17.64. So let's close that. And what we need to do is drop that in here to give us our correct angle. So that just squares up that top edge for us. Um, And if you can see that it's sort of done the same sort of thing at the other end where it's um, trimmed it back. So we can change our end conditions at the other end as well. And again we want to use the extend. And we want to come off this outside face. So that now squares it right up. Um, as you can see um, it doesn't really quite line up. Um, that's because that outside edge here is coming up to meet it at the point at the end here. So um, if we want a cleaner edge on there what we can do is we can go back to our frame components And that third one that we created, if we change the um, position of that and we drop that outside, when this rebuilds you can see that we have a much better join between the two components there. So that gives us a much better um, finish. Now that we've moved this outside, um, our part is um, our frame is 25 millimeters too long. So if we come back into here and we can open this. So here we've got our overall dimension. 
and what we need to do is adjust the length from that end and subtract 25 mil and we need to save that and then when we close this out when the um, trailer loads up again what you've actually got is the trailer is adjusting to that uh, new size so as you can see it's still sitting right on the end so we've actually readjusted it to fit the frame so now that we've created some of the frames on the other side um, we need to use some of these other parts so um, here I have this part that defines the um, internal structure here so we'll go back into our frame command and like with the others we'll just use the edges of this part and accept those and then unlike before we need to um, not adjust the orientation but just um, the position of the um, section so we'll come off this corner in here so that drops it on the outside of that part and um, makes the edges all flush so um, we've positioned um, as we Go back to our command here, you can see that it's actually trimmed back to the existing frame.